Yeah, yeah but know. all the vloggers have viewfinder so they can see themselves so when they're vlogging. So it. that way they can, you know, make sure. Because then they can, they're always like, oh, let me get in focus. You know? Hey, how's it going? Big Yumbo here. I'm with my uh, mother in law and my girlfriend. My girlfriend came down from Las Vegas and surprised me. Pretty smoky out, but we're gonna go uh, hit some golf balls and then probably go to the thrift store. What you think about that? Buzz, you're shy on the camera. I but, thought you had all. Here's you... the deal. You said my mother in law and then my girlfriend. So you have a wife and you have a girlfriend? <laughs> Hello, Allison. Um, can we please get two pumpkin no, loaves? No, one. one pumpkin loaf one. warm. Pumpkin muffin. And then one pumpkin muffin. Latte, like iced tea. Latte? Is that hot or iced today? Oh, no, there's no latte. Oh, sorry. What do you um, want? Grande. Not you. The, my, okay. This person in the car. Grande black iced tea. She wants a grande black iced tea. Now, do you want a pumpkin muffin or a pumpkin loaf? Oh, we want one of each. Pumpkin muffin. Do you want that warmed up today? That was good. Thanks. And it went about 50 yards into the sand gutter. This is a good one. This is, this is the one. Oh, not a good showing okay, again. Might be a little camera shy. Wow, I don't even know where it went. Maybe the viewers can find it. All right, we're here at the Eco Thrift. You've probably seen it before. The part-time picker always goes here. It's a holiday weekend, so it'll probably be pretty busy. I can actually tell by the parking lot that it's really busy. So, you know, I'm just gonna try to stay positive, right, bub? Mm -hmm. You know, not take it too seriously. You know, I'm here with the family, so it's not a work day. We're just here for fun. Just try to stay relaxed. Wait, where's my phone? Where's my fanny pack? Where's my, all my stuff? There's the Eco. That's you know, a pretty big thrift store. Bubs, you don't do much talking, do you? No. See, Bubs, it's harder than you think. Well, it's, it is hard. Once the camera gets going, mm. she, was, she was talking a big game, saying she was going to be like oh, a nice. natural YouTuber. That's not nice. You can't include that. Well, so there's the sale You see anything good? Well, I, it takes me a while. What about Forte? I'm going to say no on that. He's a cute man. No. no. So green is 25% off, blue is 50% off, and orange is 75% off. Kind of dirty. Actually, the bottoms look really good. How much are they? If they were on sale, I'd say yeah. I just, Merrill doesn't sell that well anymore, especially women's ones. Oh, really? Yeah. See? Jeans. Bad wear. No good. Are they on sale? What are you what are you looking for? Kings? Because I figured out how to get people away from me at the thrift store now. Now that I'm filming myself, if I just kind of point it at them, they leave. Because my least favorite thing at thrift stores is people like next to me. Oh Bubs, look. Those are my shoes. Ooh, terrible. Oh yeah, the heels totally worn off. This is the best. Narrow. This is like the best brand of shoe to sell. Where's Ultra. Those are nice. I would probably pass on it for $7.50 just because, listen, I don't want to be a no man. Why? It's just so much work to clean those up and then... But we'll pass today. You know what? You know what? I'll we'll get them. Today. No, I'll get them. No. I'm going to find something better. Okay. Uh, I just sold a pair of those actually. How much are they? They're 50 off. So how much are they? Five bucks? Yeah. They look good. Keens? I hope they're seven and a half for me. Six and a half. They're mom size. They look let's so put them in the car. Let's put them in the car and we'll look them up. No, oh, these could be good. No, bowling shoes. No. It's a pass on those. But you don't know. You don't. You're learning. For the vans like that. Yeah. Uh, what you want to look for? Different. Remember what you want to look for is that it'll say like made in the USA right there. Oh. And it'll say made in the USA on the inside. Yeah. And that means they're the vintage ones. Oh. And those ones like, thi you, like this style, yeah. you can get like over $100 for. What, where do you see where it's made? Those aren't made in the USA. You can, the made in the USA ones are going to look oh, super, Vietnam. they're going to look super basic. Like 
Oh, are they? Okay. You know, like those old style. Okay. Uh, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah. These are Echoes. I'm going to look them up. Oh, yeah. They're a little like maybe too worn in there, you think? Yeah, I yeah. think so. Yeah, yeah, I think so. There you are. Oh, check it out. Bubs found figs. That's the best scrub brand. Good job, Bubs. That, that's the find of the day so far. That's probably 25 bucks plus shipping. I couldn't find the bottom, but. This, is, this brand is called Figs. It's a scrub brand and it sells really fast and really well. What are those? The rainbows, they're only 99 cents. No, you can't sell those, can you? No. No, they're kind of ripped. Rainbow's a really good brand to sell though. Well? Yeah, we're looking for like really good condition stuff mostly. Yeah. Like these Keens. Oh yeah, mom, these are your size. <gasps> Cute. If you want them, you can have them. How much are they? Five bucks. Yeah, mm. half off. How are they? These I'm gonna look up. Okay. These, oh, never mind. Well, that's terrible. They looked like they were perfect. Wow, but it's like, look. One of them has a really good sole. That's why you gotta look. That's why you gotta look at both shoes. Sometimes I accidentally only look at one shoe. Here I actually find a lot of Doc Martens at Doc this Martin. at this location. How you can tell Doc Martin is usually the stitching around like right here is gonna be yellow. Oh my god! Yeah, that's this is ridiculous. They shouldn't put this out. Those are interesting. No, uh, only they've got this one type of shoe. It's like a wingtip shoe with like a tennis shoe bottom on it. No, not really. Hey, everybody. Oh, I think you could get that on camera. Probably. There's some cold haunts. Oh, no thanks. Okay. Get in pull there? Okay. Oh, that could be a What uh, price prices? Five half off. Oh, for two fifty? Yeah, I can make. Did you look at both of them? Make sure you look at both. I gotta follow your rules. You yeah, no, you gotta follow your own rules. I'd say yeah. We can give them a closer look over before we get them. Fifty bucks on the miss me. That's a rip off. Well, it's actually a good deal. That's. Oh, I wish I could get it cheaper on eBay. Yumbo mm -hmm. Industry. It's not a bad deal. It's just, I, it's not good for a reseller. Up here is where I usually find my, uh, my containers. Oh, you look over here, I'm gonna go look for my containers. Come on, mom. My food saver containers. I don't see none. So I look for like vintage garlic presses that are made out of aluminum, vintage ice cream scoops. They just kind of throw random stuff together. Yeah, but sometimes you can get real good deals because yeah. they'll have like multiple good things in one of them. And they price these bags pretty cheap. Let's go to the next aisle, huh? What about this? I know you don't like looking at that. I'll look it up for you. Yeah, I couldn't find it. Sorry, Bubba. What's that nice brand? Uh, Cutco. <laughs> they never have it though, because it's like everybody knows about Cutco. Like, Everyone that's looking for something valuable always comes down these aisles. And that's... We're looking for junk. No, we look for treasure. That could be good. It's seven bucks. Can it off? I don't think it's new, but we'll look it up, yeah? Well, there's one listed for $40, but not for this price. Shall we move on? Yeah, I usually go down these aisles over here. And then, um, then I go to those aisles. So there's a method, you know? That's dumb. That's dumb? I don't know, junk. I don't. Oh, yeah, we don't look in the junk. Oh, we can look. I, we do look over here, though. I'll meet you in the middle. Uh, these vintage ivory soaps, if they were in different packaging, vintage soap can do really well. 
place is like so crowded today. You know, I've never found another one of those corduroy backpacks. The Jansport corduroy backpacks are really good to get, but I never find them. It's just not worth looking into. What about this? I don't want to sell it is basically what I'm saying. Do you know that that's a bad brand? I don't know it's a bad brand, but I no, know you it. could be missing out. Oh, okay. I'll look it up. Wow. Is that? That's solar. To charge your phone. Are you sure that's solar? Yeah, you, you probably charge your phone. Do you think that's good? You'd have to look it up. I'll look it that's up. That's how you learn. I know. Modern music today. Where's the old school? Yeah, it's a no on the backpack. No? No. It's interesting. But you can get one brand new for $11.90. What are you guys doing in the underwear section, you creeps? I was looking for undies. She said she knows how to pick some stuff. I don't know how to pick, I guess. I, you need to teach her. Not then. Just like you teach her viewers. You are sweating like that's crazy. I know. It's hot here. here. That's not it's okay. It's real life. That's, that's what people like on YouTube. Well, I'm going to go down to the vintage clothes at the very end. Oh, I want some of so I like to look through this section because this is where they put all the vintage stuff that they think is vintage. Sometimes they have good stuff in here, but I mean it's the weekend and I think like this would be good, but uh um, what? This big kind of Looney Tunes stuff does good, but they want 25 bucks for it. So. Expensive. I think this is good. But it's 20 bucks. Oh. It would be good, but it's made in the USA. Right? Yeah, it would be good, but they want twenty dollars for it, and that's we might get fifteen bucks for it on eBay. Oh, okay. I think I'm gonna move on. Okay, let's move on. Where's mom? Mom, maybe you can find me something good in here. No, that's a good brand. Oh, uh, good brands are like. What about that? One? Peter Millar. They make really good. Uh, if you can find a Peter Millar jacket, that could be really good. That's pretty rare. North Face, Carhartt. Yeah, okay. You know they're good brands. Yeah. Bubs is hungry. We can show you this stuff when we get home, yeah? Oh, you did good. You did good. Okay, that works. Um, so, yeah, we got a whole bunch of stuff in there. I'm not holding the camera. That's her. So I'm driving safely. Hello. We were in there for like two hours and everyone did pretty good. So I think we're all just really tired. What do you think, Bub? I'm hungry. We're going to Mr. Pickles for a sandwich now. So hey, we're back at the house. It's actually the next day. Oh, right, we got these Keens. These are Keens. Real nice bottoms on there. Uh, paid five bucks for these. These might go to Maddie's mom. Maddie's my girlfriend, she's the one filming. She might try these on and see if she likes them. Otherwise they should go for like 25 to 30 bucks. These were priced at five bucks and they were half off. So they were 250. They're some Echo, uh, kind of like men's casual dress shoes. I gotta do a little uh, uh, shoe polish on that now. Probably like 25 bucks plus shipping. Let's see, we got, oh no, we got the wrong brand. Okay, this is a learning moment here. So there's two brands of jeans that have sevens on them. So there's this kind, seven for all mankind. Oh, mom got this. She got these ones. So these ones aren't a good brand, seven. It's like seven, seven, but it might trick you. Cause look, they even copied the same color and everything, total rip off. This is a good brand, seven for all mankind. And for all these brands, the men's stuff does a lot better. These are not men's, but I could wear them if I wanted to. I mean, no, they're not men's, they're women's. For the actual good brand ones, they were $4, so. You know, look them up. Uh, we got some Marmot uh, hiking pants. These are women's. Uh, they didn't have any sold comps for these specific Pertex ones, but all the ones that are listed new, all the ones that are listed new are uh, pretty pricey. And I've sold Marmot uh, hiking pants before and they do pretty well. I got like 30 bucks for just a pair of boring hiking pants. We found some Miss Me jeans. These are men's. 
Just kidding, they're women's. I paid 15 bucks for them, which is kind of a lot. Pretty confident I'll get 35 plus shipping at least. That's a really good brand. We got some cut from the cloth. These ones were 75% off, so 75% off of seven, whatever that is, bups. These are probably like $2. These jeans new are like a hundred bucks, I guess. But I mean, I'm only gonna get like 20 bucks for them, but for two bucks, I'm trying to do more women's clothes. Oh. First off, Bubs found these. Bubs is my girlfriend, by the way. I have a girlfriend. <laughs> uh, these are $4. This is a big scrub top. This almost looks like a man's. Nope, it's a woman's? Okay. She found this. Whoa. This should go for like 25 plus shipping. Fit. Let me show you the logo. It looks like that. And it's not gonna feel like all the other cheap uh, scrubs. It's gonna feel different. It almost feels like Lululemon stuff. And then later on in a different section, we found the bottoms for them. But I sell them separately because, uh, you know, more of the old lady would have like a larger bosom or a skin and skinny legs. You're just gonna sell it quicker if you sell them separately. Bubs found these uh, vintage made in the USA, uh, like, this is actually called chambray, this material. It looks like denim, but actually no, this might be denim because chambray is darker on one side and then you flip it over and the other side is also darker, but denim will be darker on one side and also lighter on the other side. I'm backing up. And I actually saw a couple sold comps for these for like 25 bucks plus shipping. So that's cool. We only paid a dollar for this. This was my personal favorite find. I found it. Uh, some Sims convertible hiking pants. Paid seven dollars for them, that's kind of a lot. Is that a stain? No. Sims. It's a fishing company. It sells really well. Super fast. And uh, yeah, I filmed a whole bunch of videos where I showed where I sold these, but and I film a lot of videos every week and I only put one or two of them out. You know, I'm picky. Uh, these are called Sanux. They're like slip on little like kind of surfer shoes. You paid $5 for them and they've been selling like hotcakes. Got some Eddie Bauer women's hiking cap capris. Real stretchy. Don't get a ton of money for this, but we paid $4 and they do sell right now. Even Eddie Bauer, which is in a great brand. I like that you're holding because I can try them on. <laughs> this is Athleta. It's like a women's athleisure brand. And these are flare pants or you can call them wide leg pants. They kind of, this is what's, this is what the girls are wearing right now. The pants, uh, they come out at the bottom, like bell bottoms, you know? It was baggy pants like last month and the month before that, but now it's flare pants slash wide leg pants. You gotta keep up with the trends. Uh, we paid seven bucks for these and probably get like 25 plus shipping. Something I noticed with these um, kind of legging pants is they get a lot of lint on them, you know? I don't like that. Uh, okay, let's see. Let's got a receipt here. Let's see what we spent. $73 on 14 items. An average of $5 per item, I believe. So, you know, pretty good, eh? Let me see. You're gonna do things for watching. Thanks for watching. I'm Big Gumbo. That was a little more enthusiasm. Sit. Okay, go ahead. Thanks for watching. I'm Big Gumbo. Subscribe, like, comment down below.